Hello and welcome to another episode of the Foot Geeks. My name is CJ and today we'll be talking about Gore-Tex shoes or shoes that have text linings in them. This texture right here has a Gore-Tex membrane and as you can see, it's got a mesh upper. How can that be waterproof? That's a very good question. Gore-Tex is not something that is applied to the outside of the shoe. Gore-Tex is something that's applied on the inside of the shoe. So when you have a waterproof shoe, most of the time that doesn't necessarily mean that um, uh, you know the upper itself is waterproof because it could be leather, it could be mesh. What really is waterproof is the membrane inside. So they have, as you can see, potentially on the camera right there, inside there's a grayish kind of layer which is stitched on the bottom right here. And uh, what's happening here is that the lining on the inside is attached to the upper itself. And it's guaranteed by Gore-Tex to be waterproof because they usually are the ones that put it into the footwear. And then it gets shipped back to the supplier to finish off the product. Now one thing to keep in mind with Gore-Tex, it's a very, very well insulating material. So it has a great an amount of uh, insulating benefits which keeps the foot warm but also dry and in some warmer climates Gore-Tex sometimes could feel a little bit moist inside the shoe uh, especially if you wear things like cotton socks. Now when you do wear Gore-Tex shoes what we usually recommend is to use products such as polyester fibers, uh, wool socks with a polyester fiber combination can work as well because in order for the Gore-Tex membrane to allow the sweat from the foot to pass through the membrane, it has to come in really, really fine particles. If you uh, get water inside a Gore-Tex shoe, you can usually feel how it kind of sloshes around inside the shoe. It doesn't necessarily really seep out of the uh, material itself and you tend to have to dump it out. And that's because the Gore-Tex membrane really only allows small small little heat particles you know kind of sweat particles as they come off as steam to pass through the membrane and that's what they say makes it breathable and because it has you know such kind of tiny little hollow spots on the inside uh, it uh, then prevents bigger drops like rain and, and, and bigger water droplets from passing through the membrane and that's why it keeps your feet dry when you're walking around in really wet conditions now if you want to clean a Gore-Tex membrane, usually what you want to do is keep the upper of the shoe free of debris. Because the more dirt there is on there, the less likely for the Gore-Tex membrane to be waterproof. So keep that in mind when you're cleaning your shoes. Use just cold water and a brush to clean up your shoe. Don't use uh, detergents or soaps or anything like that on the shoe itself because that could potentially clog the pores, making the uh, material not work as intended. Now, if you have any other experiences with Gore-Tex or any other comments regarding the Gore-Tex membrane, please post your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed to us yet on YouTube, do so right over here in this corner. Have a fantastic day.